Hey Potterheads, can you believe it's been over a decade since the last Harry Potter book came out? Anyway, here's my list of 14 fantasy book series that I think will appeal to Harry Potter fans looking to journey on a new epic adventure filled with a great cast of characters, whimsical magic, and addictive storytelling. If you find this list useful, feel free to give us a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel for more book lists every week. As a disclaimer, this list is in no particular order. Check out the link in the description below for a more detailed review of each series. First up is The Kane Chronicles, written by Rick Riordan, who is most famous for authoring the Percy Jackson books. However, I'd personally recommend Potterheads to check out this series instead. The series follows siblings Carter and Sadie Kane, whose lives were torn apart by the death of their mother six years ago. Since then, Carter has been traveling the world with their father, a gifted Egyptologist named Dr. Julius Kane. Meanwhile, Sadie has been living with her grandparents in London. One Christmas Eve, Julius brings both the siblings together at the British Museum, where he promises to make things right. However, things go south when Julius unleashes the Egyptian god Set, who quickly banishes him. The siblings must now navigate a fantastical world they never knew existed to get their father back. Along the way, they also uncover startling secrets about their family and themselves. I think there's so much to love about the Kane Chronicles. It's got magic, mythology, tons of action, and very compelling characters. Carter reminds me a lot of Harry. He's a seemingly unremarkable kid who, while dealing with family grief, comes into his own after discovering his bloodline. These books like Harry Potter are actually meant for a younger audience. However, the series has also earned a loyal adult fanbase. I especially adore the strong underlying message that encourages bravery, honesty, and integrity, familiar values any Potter fan can identify with. Need more British boy wizards in your life? Then, you'll want to check out the Bartimaeus series, set in an alternate history where Britain is an oligarchy ruled by elite magicians. The main protagonist, Nathaniel, is a boy magician in training who was sold off by his birth parents. He now apprentices for the cold and cruel wizard, Arthur Underwood. Life is tough, and the only kindness Nathaniel knows comes from his master's wife, Martha. Everything changes for Nathaniel when, just before he turns 11, he is publicly humiliated by his arch-rival Simon Lovelace. Filled with vengeance, Nathaniel vows to steal Lovelace's prized possession, the Amulet of Samarkand. At first glance, you might think all of this sounds like a cheap knockoff of Harry Potter. However, don't be mistaken. The series thrives on its own strengths with an incredible cast of characters that aren't cookie-cutter good or bad guys. Instead, each person is driven by complex agendas and emotions amid a plot that pivots between different point of views. What's your favorite Harry Potter book? Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well for more book lists to come. In this series, Nicholas Flamel is hailed as one of the greatest alchemists of all time. However, while supposedly dying in 1418, we soon find out he is still very much alive. This is thanks to him discovering the secret of eternal life via the Book of Abraham the Mage. This book is so powerful that Nicholas has spent his long life protecting it from falling into the wrong hands. And, as it turns out, there is someone who wishes to steal the book for evil deeds. To fight this dark enemy, Flamel enlists the help of Sophie and Josh Newman, two teenagers whom he believes are the prophesied saviors meant to right the impending wrong. I'll admit it. The first book in the series isn't the best. Some characters felt a bit flat and inconsistent. However, I'm glad I pushed through. From the second book onward, the story develops nicely as more interesting historically inspired characters are introduced, such as Joan of Arc. The series also cleverly mixes history with mythology, making everything feel really epic. In this fantasy trilogy, we follow Fitz, the bastard son of chivalry Farseer, who's been outcasted from the royal family. Fitz's only real friends are animals, whom he shares a magical link with via an old art known as the Wit. However, without warning, Fitz is suddenly welcomed back into the royal family. He thus has to learn how to interact with the very same noble folks who rejected him for most of his life. The plot thickens when, while training to be a royal assassin, he discovers an evil danger that lurks right around the corner. I especially like how magic isn't actually the main focus of these books. Instead, it fits organically into author Hobbes' rich world, used as a subtle means of steering the story in unexpected ways. In addition, I shed quite a few tears along the way during some surprisingly heartfelt moments. Above all, Farseer Trilogy is an excellent read that brims with incredible world-building, amazing characters, and witty dialogue. This is a must-read fantasy series for Harry Potter fans, kids and adults alike. The Lord Ruler has reigned with an iron fist over the final empire for more than a millennia. Enslaved for generations, the Ska live in fear and misery, not daring to even hope for a better future. 
However, amid utter despair, an imprisoned half-ska named Kelsier decides to break the status quo, consequently unleashing his hidden powers as a mistborn. Fueled by newfound might, Kelsier quickly gathers together the elite Alamancers of the underworld. He hatches a plan to dethrone the Lord Ruler, once and for all. I think some Harry Potter fans might find Mistborn a little long. The series already has six lengthy books under its belt, and a seventh shorter one, with more releases planned. Nonetheless, this series is well worth your time. Personally, I love the well-thought-out magic system, which, admittedly, is far more detailed than Rowling's. In addition, each character reveals his or her flaws, making the overall story much more relatable. The overarching dystopian plot is also wonderfully crafted. His dark materials begins with Lyra Balakwa as she journeys to the frozen north to save her friend, Roger, from a group of child snatchers known as the Gobblers. Along the way, she stumbles upon a deeper mystery surrounding her rebellious uncle, Azriel, specifically, his research on strange particles known as dust. Lyra soon discovers that there are some truly sinister forces at work, to which only she can bring balance back from the brink of chaos. Above all, I think Philip Pullman has created a truly captivating world entwined by enchanting magic and mythical creatures. I also love how the series begins with a simple rescue mission, but rapidly dives into a profound look at morality, spirituality, and the conflict between science and religion. Sabriel has been living a fairly carefree life at her boarding school in Ancelstier, away from the dead and free magic. Then, one day, she is visited by a spirit summoned by her father, the Aborson. She finds out he's gone missing, presumably trapped in death. Sabriel thus sets out to the Old Kingdom in an effort to save him. She teams up with Mogget, a powerful feline form spirit, and Touchstone, a young mage. Together, they face the many supernatural dangers that await them on their epic journey. I see the Aborson series as an addictive mix of Harry Potter and Game of Thrones. Garth Nix does a terrific job at merging both medieval and 20th century elements into one cohesive world. In addition, the magic system is intricate, yet delightfully easy to follow. Above all, I absolutely adore Sabriel as a protagonist. She's smart, strong-willed, well-balanced, and likable. Also, who doesn't love a talking cat sidekick, especially one that's sarcastic and sassy? Here are a few more fantasy book series for Potterheads to check out. I've got a more detailed review of each of them via the link in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll have a great time losing yourself in the rich fantastical worlds of these wonderful books. Till next week, stay magical, my fellow Potterheads.